Easter Sunday means church and egg hunts, bunnies and sweets, buns and breads. So this is a brioche style dough. We use this for our sticky buns and our cinnamon roll. Brioche is, a, um, is an enriched yeasted dough, so butter. If you think brioche, you're thinking butter. Lori Shive has fond memories of sweets at Easter. First what we do is we're gonna make, we make the, we call it goop, <laughs> but what this is is a mixture of brown sugar and honey and um, butter, because you gotta have a lot of butter, and um, pecans. So when I grew up, this was like the big deal on Sundays and Easter because my mother used to make us like not have sweets during Lent. The first time we could have sticky buns was Easter Sunday. She hopes the sticky buns that she sells at her Blue Loon Bakery in New London provide more than just sugar to her customers. The look on their faces of when they come in and to Mike and me, you know, our, our feeling is, yeah, we're making sticky buns, but we're also creating these memories for these kids. So what is the trick to creating a perfect sticky bun? People really do it for the goop. Um, and you want to make sure it's really tricky on, on baking it, because if you bake it too long, then that becomes candy. So it, it crystallizes. If you don't bake it enough, and then it's got some graininess to it for the, the sugar. So it's that sweet spot in between to make sure it's gooey. The bottom is now the, the top. So then this stuff, this is the part I like to do. It's a Sunday, very much a Sunday thing, very much an Easter thing. Um, I would eat them every day if I could. It's a good thing we only make them on the weekends. The bakery also makes a traditional Easter bread as pretty as it is delicious. A lot of this is just, uh, if you know how to braid hair, you can make a braided Easter loaf. In a lot of Christian and Catholic traditions, you've got different kinds of Easter bread. Um, so the poles will, will do a long, straight one. The eggs, obviously, and I did some colored eggs here. These are not cooked, because they're gonna get, actually get baked in the oven with the bread. What I like about the Easter bread is it's a celebration bread, and it actually doubles. We have a lot of folks that come in, and then they'll buy one to put on their table, and then they'll have one to eat. At the sweet spot and where Jackie O'Dowd likes to stick to tradition. Obviously everything good, rustic, homemade, old fashioned. I'm very old school. So this is just flour and water mixed to a, like a paste. And this again is the old fashioned way. Nowadays places will use frosting, but that's not really what I wanna do. I'd like to do things the old fashioned way. <laughs> She has perfected the art of the hot crust bun, an Easter morning staple for many households. I think it was the year we opened here, because I, I, I didn't work anywhere that made hot crust buns. And um, I think I just had some customers asking for them, and I'll, I love a challenge. I like to look at the origins. So when we decided to do hot crust buns, I looked like, they're from England. I'm like, oh, it's a bread from England, like Paul Hollywood. Like all of her recipes, Jackie puts her own twist on her buns. And what I like about the recipe I'm using is there's a little bit of apple in it, too, which just adds another dimension of flavor and softness and just really good. So they're a traditional enriched brioche. So that means it's bread that has got eggs, butter, and milk in it, so it's delicious <laughs> and soft and really yummy. And then um, I mix in the traditional citron, orange zest, raisins, a little cinnamon. And this part's fun because I used the mixer for kneading it originally, but for this, you've got to knead it, you know, the way, you know, the old-fashioned the old way. don't get much more fun than the baked goods at Fresh AF Bake Shop. 
a lot of um, either the item is familiar or the flavor is familiar. So someone might not have had a French macaron before, but they know what funfetti tastes like. So we try to make everything approachable as can be um, while still just being really fun and having items that not a lot of places have. Taryn Merrill says that she loves her job and everyone seems to love her treats. That's how we can judge how busy of a day it is when our openers come in and they say, hey, the line's to the field across the street, and that's how we know it's going to be a good day. We headed into the kitchen with Taryn to make one of the bakery's sweet staples, perfect for Easter morning. We're going to be making traditional cinnamon buns, good old the OG cinnamon buns. Easter is one of my favorite holidays because we come out of bakery hibernation so it's after like the slump of the winter everyone's given up on their new year's resolutions by now so we get to kind of have fun with it um, and it's all like spring flavors and lemon tarts and berry tarts and strawberry shortcakes and all like these delicious fun things to treat yourself with Taryn and her crew have recently taken the cinnamon roll and kicked things up a notch. We've started doing Sunday Bun Day, um, Sunday Fun Day Bun Day, if we're feeling really excited. This started, um, one, because baking is my only skill. Um, that's always what I joke about. It's the only thing like I love to do. Every Sunday we do four different flavors of buns in one container. So we make four different doughs, four different fillings. Um, it comes with a little bit of icing so that you can ice the buns yourself if you want. But it's a really fun experience. And we had people waiting in line. We opened at nine, we had people waiting at seven, which was incredible for the Sunday Bun Day flight. From blueberry cobbler buns to red velvet, even Girl Scout cookie themed buns. No one's mad when they have a baked good in their hands. It's like this, I say all the time, the bakery only exists to bring people joy. Um, it's only here to make you happy. Uh, nothing we do is too serious. We have a good time. We open the door and it's just to make people happy, which is super fun.